Good evening. It is Wednesday. We're heading north. So Michelle and I heading north. In fact, Michelle's in the passage. I don't know why she's got her sunglasses on because it's not very sunny. But there you go. Michelle's trying to look cool. Anyway, there we go. Right. We're on an adventure. We're probably going to the Royal Harden Show. And uh, if you've never been, it is a fantastic show. Absolutely fantastic show. Um, we've been for the last couple of years, and it's it's a yeah great show. And the agricultural element to it is is really good. Um, there's certainly a lot of shows out there that if you want to buy a window cleaner on a long pole to clean upstairs your windows, or you want a house name for your plaque down for your house, or or yeah, there's loads of stands. But the Warhammer show is very agriculture based. Very good show, well put on. So anyway, that's where we're heading. So we are just about to go over into Scotland. So uh, you know, it's good because my father came from Scotland. So uh, it's uh, I should probably fit in quite well. Can you speak Scottish? Okay. I see you too. <laughs> so yeah, I've got the lingo. It'd be easy, weird, wouldn't it? There we go. Anyway, right. Let's go to Scotland. Literally been here less than five minutes and we've already got people recognising Michael. This could be um, a long day. We made it to the Royal Highland Show. And, uh, not that I'm a sheep person by any means whatsoever, but we thought we'd just have a quick look around and uh, see what was going on with the judging. So lots of woolly things all being uh, groomed and lined up and Lovely pens of cattle here. These are sing. I don't know how you pronounce that. Semluing heavers, whatever. Oh, right. Right. Beautiful animals there. Very well cared for. So, hmm. No, Michelle, we're not taking some home. There's an awful lot of people here watching the uh, woolly things get judged. Crowds and crowds of people. So, uh, oh look, more woolly things over here. That's quite um, a spectacular woolly thing, isn't it? Oh, it's a hebridean. I'm not allowed to say now. Look at that, am I? Quite. There's a marquee after marquee after marquee of uh, woolly things. What is great to see is the amount of effort and time people are putting in, in the presentation of these animals. So uh, an immense amount of pride. These men have got their coats on to keep them clean. These ones have got like potato sacks on them to keep them clean. No, it's been mean, isn't it? No, they've got their coats on to keep them clean. This one's looking super smart there. So uh, yeah. An immense amount of work. I think we people should be very proud of their efforts. It's um, good to see British, British farming at its best. And is a qualified vet and has been president of the Scottish National Farmers Union. So a practical farmer, a practical vet, knows the industry inside out. In the Charlet ring, we have Neil Barclay as our judge from uh, Hairstone. Neil's been involved in uh, various breeds of cattle, Angus's, Charolais, Solaires. The family are also involved in sheep. And the family is also heavily involved in the machinery world, in that the majority of John Deere tractors were supplied by his family. Um, now, Kubota is the uh, the big name. Just going across some cows with a difference here. Look at these, made out of chain. And I think they are rather cool. That would be a lovely ornament to have on the farm, wouldn't it? A lovely. And then there's some here in horseshoes as well. Made out of uh, horseshoes. 
That one's a bit different than Spanners, but... No, I think, that, I think they look rather good. That one's called Wee Bill. Yeah, it's definitely very smart. I hate to think of how much one of them will cost. So there you go, let's have a little guess here, shall we? In the comments below, have a guess what you think one of these would cost to buy. That would be uh, quite unique. They are really, really are nice things. Made out of a reinforcing bar. And there's the, there's the calf as well. Super cool. We just repeat the people that make these things. And another little quiz question here, which we will put at the end of the video. How many hours work do you think goes into making Lemmy? Yeah, I was quite surprised. Um, we've now known the prices of them as well, so put in the box below what you think and um, let us know. But uh, what a cracking thing to find here at the uh, Edinburgh show. Michelle's on the CK Energy stand here and they've got this grabby machine thingy, whatever you call it. And uh, Michelle was telling me how bad I was at it. But there we go. Well, she's gonna be she's gonna be here all day now until she wins something. Oh, that's a win. Oh look! Get it right. get it in the right place. Won something. There's a result. There you go. Many of Here we go. She said it. A teddy bear now. She's happy now. Yeah. So and it was free as well, which is quite good. So uh, the show's really good. Anybody uh, had a bit of the Highland show, I can highly recommend it. It's um yeah, I think we we're lucky. We were getting quite early. And there's not that many people around yet. But I've no doubt it will be heaving. Oh look, fuel tanks. Ooh. So we travelled all the way from Lincolnshire to find the Lincolnshire trading manufacturer. Bailey trailers. There we go. Made just down, made in Sleaford, not that far from where we are. And um, we do run a fair few Bailey trailers. And uh, just popped onto their stand. Very kind drinks for us, which is very kind of them. And uh, to show you some of the trailers they've got on their stand at the moment. Nice 28 foot uh, tan and metal. I think they call it they're like a box pusher. It's got the uh, rams on the back here. So pushing boxes up tight together. Um, and bear in mind we hire a lot of traders to the potato market. And uh, what a good thing, easy fit, they were easy fit thing there. Yeah. Under the bolt and they lift out. And you've got the quick release couplings from the front of the trailer to the rear for the oil supply. So uh, probably something that we probably ought to have some of those in stock. Really, because we do hire for all sorts of potato growers. And then it's got the uh, this one's got the fold out side um, gang tank there for the uh, people to stand on as the potatoes as the potatoes fall from the elevator into the boxes. Um, people stand on the side there, so uh, yeah, nice trailer, smaller flatbed there, baby low loader there on, on super singles with a rear steer axle. We want some. We run some light loads, we haven't got any with a rear, rear steer axle and uh, maybe something that we should be uh, considering. Our friend and fellow YouTuber Tom Lamb has just bought a um, baby load loader trailer and uh, similar to that I think. What else have we got here? Look at the TB range to the trailer and there's a baby trailer rather than the usual baby green. In the, in the nice blue. So, uh, nice stand. That's different, never seen that before. Rubber pads there on the side when the, the um, rear door comes down. So, well, that one's got it as well. I've never seen that before. Anybody else seen that? Is that a 
very new, very new invention from. Uh, I don't know. We've certainly never seen that before. So. Uh, so what? You, what would be your favourite colour Bailey then? Would it be a in Bailey blue, Bailey green? And I know some of the ones have been done in. Uh, I think I think Tom's a loader is in black. So uh, if you had a Bailey trailer, what colour would you have it? There we go. Right. Nice little dump trailer there. Well, short trailer at the back. And, and a water bowser. And then you've got the platform on the front there for IBCs of additives and bits and pieces as well. So uh, I think, uh, yeah. Nice trailers. It doesn't matter which way you look here, just machinery. Every which way you look. Every brand you can think of. It's here. We're also just seeing our friends up there, the Grassman. So we do need to go and say hello to them. We're at the Grassman stand. There's the 14, 17, 4755 there, gleaming as it always does. Look at that, what a beautiful tractor. I'll tell you one thing I will say about Gareth and the Grassman their setup for selling is fantastic, absolutely fantastic. The trailer there. It's a very easy setup system, and I know he does show after show after show with it. But what a what a great brand, and they've got it they've got it right. There's a bit, I know Gavis lurking here somewhere. So there's his TV screen there, showing the videos. What a great stand, absolutely great stand. I think both the Scandias, two of the Scandias are here. So, there's his trailer. And there's Gareth doing his uh, meet and greet bit as usual, and Ruth. There's his tractor on there. And there's Ruth. How are we doing? How are we good, thank you. <laughs> How are you? We're good, thank you. So we just make you famous, even more famous. <laughs> We're on the grass from stand, and here is my friend Gareth. He's had us Hi. in stitches of laughter just now, <laughs> telling us stories. None that we can repeat, obviously. Anyway, Gareth, how are you feeling today as a percentage? Come on. There wasn't much noise out of the engine, though. <laughs> I can't elaborate. I cannot no, elaborate. <laughs> please, no, I don't want any quote no. there. <laughs> so come on, Gareth, how are you feeling today as a percentage? Come on. Oh, percentage today, I'm, I'm, I'm 80 something. 80 something? Uh, well, I'll probably match you there, so yeah, that's probably that's quite good. The reason I'm not. 90 plus as there's been a severe lag of caffeine so far this morning <laughs> and, a, and a busy night last night <laughs> no not too bad not, i'm very well behaved child i'll have you know goodness sake he's painting a bad picture of me don't listen <laughs> <laughs> oh, i paint a bad picture of you <laughs> anyway listen how's you i'm i'm about 80 percent as well business yeah, good business is very good yeah 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 yeah. i, he I hear you've bought some incredible machines but maybe you're not allowed to talk about that just yet that's coming soon in his next video well what we're hoping soon you see is that gareth will do a return but if visit flip the camera around you'd know <laughs> we're going to try and encourage gareth and and the fabulous grassman team to come back and do a follow-up video yeah, on yeah, us yeah. sometime perhaps in the winter time i will know um, that you've got a comfortable tractor <laughs> for me to drive like a fast comfortable tractor for you to drive is that the sort of thing you want <laughs> Um, my so not... subtle day is my key. <laughs> yeah, keys in the boot, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, on that note, anyway, we're at the Highland Show with Gareth and the Grassman team. Fabulous stand, fabulous merchandise. So, right. uh, and we're all trying to just have a laugh because it's rough enough out there. Yeah, so if you go to any of these big shows, go and visit the Grassman stand, buy some merchandise and um, help keep Gareth... Um, in diesel. <laughs> in diesel for his lorries. I'll show you his lorries in a minute. They are something else. So, right, anyway. Cheers. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers bye. Bye. Bye, bye. Cheers. There's two of the probably nicest Scania trucks you come across. Look at that. They are pristine. I just noticed actually one's on the alloys and one's not, but they are a real credit to the Grassman team, show team there. What trucks? How maintained they are. What looked after. So, uh, so if you are, if you do get to see the grass when it travels, come and look at the lorries, come and see them, because um, look at those.
proper two nice scanner trucks. Right, we come down here, we're just in the uh, Richard Weston stand. There's, uh, we're gonna go say hello to those guys. You got traders on their stand. And as those of you know, we are buying some Richard Weston trailers. So, uh, I think the two colors there. They've got a good stand here, right in the corner, right in the corner here, haven't they? Three sided stand. So, uh, here's a flatbed trailer. I think on the bigger wheels than what we've got, I hope we just bought. That's a lot shorter version. Dump trailer much better. So, uh, we go around and have a look. See what we think. Like a rubber wear pad on there for the trades to rest on. So, if you, so what's your favourite colour of a Western Trail then? We've done the, what's your favourite colour of a Bailey. Is it the grey we've got back there? Or is it the orange? So which would be your which would be your favourite colour of um Richard Western Trailer? Uh, which which one's your Michelle? Yours is, you prefer the, Michelle prefers the grey. But there we go. And the much better there. Don't they do red as well? I think you, there is some red. We saw one at Joe's, do you? A red one in the shed. I think you haven't painted any colour you like, but uh, nice match trailer there. Nice dump trailer. So uh, there we go. Found the Stuart trailer stand. What a nice sea of blue. We just found this lovely low loader here. And something I've never seen before on a low loader is these rubber mounts on the front. <laughs> And that's something we've never seen on an agricultural low loader before. Pull out markers that tuck away. That's quite an innovation, isn't it? Quite cool. And then some lockers. <coughs> Chain lockers. <coughs> what a cracking idea. I think all these agricultural loaders are moving far further forward towards what the lorry low load load have been for years. But that, that there, is a cracking trailer, absolutely cracking trailer. So the other thing we've tried here, it's got a hydraulic leveling um, beaver tail. So if you're carrying bales or whatever, it um, becomes a flatbed trailer. So uh, they certainly are moving forward, certainly well built um, where the rams go on there. So uh, yeah, nice trailer. The uh, Oh, he's Weed, 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 Weed stand. I don't know how you pronounce that. Um, someone will tell me. Lovely little dinky loadle on nice wide tyres. Yeah, they are some wide tyres, aren't they? Cracking little machine, isn't it? I guess that's 1.2 1 tonne to 4.5 metres, I'm guessing. But... Look at that. So I'm not going to say that, Mark. Keep People keep commenting on my YouTube. I keep saying, "Look at that nice little pivot steer." Turn around to uh, far bigger one. Look at that. That's a beast of a machine. So I'm guessing. It, what's the 9580? How does that work out? Perhaps someone would let me know. So how do we work them numbers out on this? I can't imagine it's eight tons to nine point five, or there we go. Anyway, if you know, put it in the comments below. But uh, nice machine. They've got an accurate hitch on the back of it. No, it hasn't. But yeah, certainly a nice looking machine. They all look nice. I don't know when they're new. Yeah. But everywhere we look here, there's new machines. Everywhere we look. Here's a trailer brand you don't see very often, or very much often, ever. Bunning, obviously they're very well known for their spreaders and everything else, but you don't see many trailers. And uh, this is like a cracking well-built trailer. Got the single ram there, very similar to the Larringtons and the um, Richard Weston. What do we think of that? Anybody running Bunning trailers? 
If so, please let us know what you think. But uh, certainly looks like a, a nice, well-built trailer. So uh, if you run Bunning trailers, let us know what you think. There we go. Found the new Holland stand. I think they got that very uh, highly coloured uh, tractor there that we saw at cereals the other day. Lurking there in the background. Nice combines. Yeah, it's uh, lots of people on that stand. What about Joe Seals though? What about Joe? Oh, no, he's a man. I love it. Oh, I love it. Love it. How are we doing? Love it. 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 <laughs> right. Okay, there you go. What can we say to that? And while we're up here, we've travelled 300 miles north, and look who we bump into. Have you, yeah, have you got some battery now? This is the other phone. <laughs> this is the it's, VIP it's, filming he, phone. He only comes to find me so he can get a charger. <laughs> <laughs> but he, he's got that older phone, guys, right? That this doesn't work. This is a magnetic charger that goes onto the back of your phone. Oh, charging it up on good phones, Michael. You need to upgrade. iPhone SE, no more. Bottom I'm not in your league either. of technology, Mr. Seals. <laughs> what would our friend John Deere Mick make of this place? Look, <laughs> Look at that. So not only not only have we got a sea of mowers on this side, I think it's every mower you can probably think of in John Deere Green. Check the other but side if we right. turn this way... Look at that one there, it's got like tinted window at back. Mick would love that, wouldn't he? That's cool. Yeah. Come on, sir. <laughs> and there's a beast of a combine. Look at that. Oh. We've noticed about YouTube, right? When I film something, about two or three minutes later, Joe then gets his camera out and goes and films the same thing. <laughs> so when you look at Joe's video, you'll know that direction was by me. Here we go, Joe. <laughs> The challenge is set here for Joe. No, no, I've I've seen the, the weight of it. There's no chance. Don't you get bigger ones? Look at that. Oh, it's easy to. Okay, the one, no chance. Well, no, 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 no. <laughs> now, ne next one's above your head. Yeah. No, you're the one. <laughs> no, 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 no. I can't hold the camera out of the way at the same time, Joe. Yeah, Hello. Comes at the more highly show that we've found. Mr. B, there we go. How good's that? Yes, he had a bit of around. Just sitting down. It's Michelle Cam, look. I'm just product testing look. the string. Big buffs. Big product buffs. testing it, Joe. Well, yeah, it was, yeah. But Joe had to, Joe had to point it out. <laughs> <laughs> Six <laughs> 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 <laughs>